I want like one of those like ergonomic chairs, but none of them are cute. I know. Yeah. I love this crisscross one. It's so comfy. But it doesn't have arms. I guess this, yeah. these arms don't really. I don't. Yeah, I, I don't hated really when I worked in an office if the arms weren't at the right height. Oh, my God. And like if someone fucked around with them mm-hmm. or if like they were not the right height for the desk, like they couldn't slide under the oh desk. Oh, my God. Yeah. Because I sometimes liked being like super close up. I don't know. Why. Me too. <laughs> like I had, but like during the day, I was probably in like ten different positions. I'm like leaning back. I'm mm-hmm. like up close. I'm like walking around on the phone. <laughs> like, yeah. So many different moves. I like can't sit still when I'm like on the phone. I'm like constantly oh, moving. Oh, that's how my sister is. It annoys the shit out of me because she'll someone will call her and she'll just be walking laps around the whole house. And I'm like, can I you fucking that. stop? I, I have to do that too. <laughs> like I, I kind why. of do it, but not as bad as her. She's like doing a marathon around the house. Well, do you do it with work calls, Britt, or just like personal calls? Yeah, some of my work calls I will. Oh, really? That's like, interesting. Especially if I'm just like kind of catching up with somebody quickly, like for 15 minutes. Um I will. Or, yeah, I don't know. Especially, like, the informal ones. Yeah. I have to, like, I can't do phone calls in front of other people. Like, if I'm, like, at my family's house, I literally go outside. Like, even if I'm ordering food for people or something. Yeah. Same. I typically go, like, in a room. But that's more just because I don't want, like, someone to say something stupid. And then, like, the person on the other end of the phone hears it. Yeah, I feel that. Your hair looks really pretty straight. Me? Yeah, I feel like it hasn't been straight in a while, and it looks cute. It hasn't been washed on the pod in a minute, <laughs> so you're welcome. Thanks so much <laughs> for putting in that effort. I've been on the very weird like hair wash schedule. I cannot figure it out. So I decided I was just going to go for it today. Did you yeah. wash it today? You just washed, yeah, it, I washed this it this morning? morning. Yeah. Wow. I, I was like, I did my workout 6 a.m., got home like 7.30. It's so crazy what different lives we lead. I feel like that's the start of a good day, though, if you wash your hair. I know. That's what I was thinking. thinking. Yeah. Especially after a workout, because that's where I like get messed up, is like if I shower then and wash my hair in the morning, then I'm like, I don't want to work out now and ruin I that. I know. That truly is something that stops me quite a bit, because I'm like, my hair is just going to be all disgusting and gross. Yeah. But tomorrow I have Pilates. Mm. So I think it'll be fine. But I have like started – I'm trying to run like 10 minutes. I don't want to like – I'm just adding in like a 10-minute run with Pilates. Mm-hmm. Like outside or on a treadmill? Yeah, outside. I think That's I'm like fun. a little bit better outside because like I have like distractions and I'm like going somewhere. So I just set a timer yeah. for five minutes and like then I go out and then I come back after. That's nice. Minutes. Do you take Rosie yeah. or do you just go by yourself? Yeah. She's actually really good. I thought that she would be, like, too all over the place, but Mm -hmm. she, like, pays attention and just little skips. I'm, like, so slow, though. I'm, like, so slow. So she's, like, barely, like, she's, like, barely moving. (laughs) I'm, like, she's, like, trying to figure out what pace to go and, like, can't figure it out. Like, sorry, girl. (laughs) Yeah, my dog is, like, their fast walk. They're, like, yeah. (laughs) It's exactly it's like a tiny little prance for them <laughs> yeah sometimes but. i try to like let willow run fast and i try to keep up with her and i'm like no i can't Slow down, stop. it's more motivating though like i like when they're going fast and i'm like oh i need to go faster but then sometimes yeah when they don't slow down i'm like slow slow like, yeah it's like my legs <laughs> physically cannot keep up yeah. we are not sprinting today we just yeah. have a little movement <laughs> yeah i do get scared that i'm gonna like trip and fall yeah do you run with both of them at the same time yeah they're good though they just run next to each other oh that's nice okay yeah in front of me honestly like when they're together they they're usually better than alone because then if they're alone then they're like all Mm, going side to side and yeah zigzagging you know what's really funny my we had this like crazy dog when i was little i think like it was jack russell like Mm. some sort of like very like hyper energetic dog smaller he was like medium. Okay. He was like probably as small as Rosie, but like really, really skinny. Like did not have like any sort of like I meat don't on know his what bones. a Jack Russell is. I need to look it up. But it was like it was a mix. Yeah. So it was kind of like um, I'm imagining like a little scrappy dog. No, no. It was like I'll send a picture if I can find one. 
Like, oh. How would I describe him? If you, like, kind of had a lab, if you, like, had rosy and then no hair, like, hmm. very short, fine like hair. Like the boxer. Or, yes. Yeah, like boxer that type of body, hair. Kind of a boxer body. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, but, like, he needed so much exercise. My mom, like, paid one of her friends who, like, ran, like, long distance runs, like, did, like, 13, 15 miles, like, for fun. That's and smart. she would, like, pay him. <laughs> her to take him out <laughs> on like runs because she would like run that every day that is so smart that. yeah my mom's like hmm i see a really good opportunity to <laughs> have you exercise my dog <laughs> that's a great idea yeah i love that cameron made me watch the saddest movie yesterday on the plane i think it's called arthur the king with mark Wahlberg. And it's a, like about a true story of him doing this. They do like long, long distance adventure runs where it's like over 300 miles where they have to like just different yeah. teams race. And there's like this stray dog that follows him like the whole time. It was so sad. Like the whole movie. I just don't like dog movies at I all. Know. Like the whole movie no. and adventure movies like where there's stress and you feel like somebody's going to die at all times. It was Especially horrible. Dog. One- was it Old Yeller? That's a that sad they movie as well. <laughs> yeah. Were they fucking... It was like kind of a kid's movie. Yeah. That a what a movie? Kid's movie? A kid movie? Yeah. It was like kind of like, what is it called? Marketed as a kid's movie? Yeah. I mean, you can't be showing that to kids. That was like traumatizing and devastating. Yeah, no. And even if it ends happy, like the dog lives at the end. It's like, has a good Like ending. Homeward Bound. Like, yeah, he goes home. He has like a great time. But like, if the whole movie is stressful and sad, I'm like, I was bawling on the plane. <laughs> it's so funny. It always stresses me out in movies like that when a dog kind of adopts a human. Yeah. How the dog is never on a leash or anything. And I'm like, the dog, where's the dog going? Like, <laughs> it's yeah. a, they're the never on like, a leash. <laughs> that's so like true. are two other ones like that are kind of kids movies with Marley and me, right? Oh fuck that movie. That's and not a kids movie. Old Win Dixie. I love Win Dixie. Win Dixie's happy. That's not a sad movie. Yeah. Homeward Bound, remember that one? Yeah, no, but I haven't watched that in go so missing long. And the cat two and they talk. They it's I like watched that when I was really movie. little. Me too. Have you guys seen like the cartoon ones? Like, is it like dogs or it's pets or something? Oh, Secret Life of Pets. Yeah. Oh yeah. yeah, yeah. I think that's so good. Yeah, those <laughs> I are love cute. Those movies. They're so cute. Yeah, I told Cameron I was like the only dog movies I like is like Santa Paws and Air Bud. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh my god, the Air Bud movies were so good. Love those were Air Bud really was sad. sad though because remember he made the dog leave, and I was like, where the fuck oh. is the dog gonna go? Yeah, that was. Sad. But then he comes back, right? I know. Yeah. But that but yeah, makes just ha- seeing a dog get its feelings hurt and not understand. <laughs> I know. That's and then when I think about the acting. My heart. Like, what? The dog's just like, has to act were, that way? Maybe he wasn't actually, maybe they were shot separately or something. They must. Mm. So that because the dog's the dog not actually like being yelled at. For looking sad. Yeah. Well, Will yeah. looks sad all the time. So maybe he just. <laughs> yeah. They teach no, him how doesn't. to do this. Yeah, yeah. Fall on the nose. Good boy. Mm. Okay, here's your treat. <laughs> Weller would be so good at being in like movies. Oh, for Who? sure. Weller, Meredith's dog, the Bernard oh. Bunch. You definitely he would. like so many like cute tricks like that. You know what dog is crazy? Both of that Mary girl with the Australian Shepherds. Oh my God. Insane. Secret Who? and Promise. Oh, yeah. Those dogs that like know like know how to paint and like do yoga and stuff. I think she's like a dog whisperer because like with yeah. the, when you have one dog, I was like, oh, this dog's so special, and then she just does it again. I'm like, I know. How, how is that even possible? I don't know if like she's just training all the time because there's yeah. so many little steps before each thing. Like for the yoga or painting, it's like you just teach them how to hold that must something be in the mouth. Her like obsession like hyperfix like she yeah like, she must be a dog whisperer literally like that is I mean, what she was put on this earth if she, to do. if she did it like so much with her first dog i imagine that like it's probably just like muscle memory it's not like true i mean i'm sure it's effort and like practice and stuff especially getting a puppy to like you know adopt all of those things but i guess like ozzy i've you know i've seen ozzy be like super hyper but like this kind of gives them a job right yeah like, they love all training. that stuff is like making them work and like their brains are constantly 
you know yeah staring at all so whenever much. i need them to smile before like a photo shoot or something i always have to do like five to ten minutes of training first and yeah. then they'll smile that's Willow funny. gets so frustrating when I try to teach her things. Yeah. <laughs> it takes her a while to grasp things and we both get frustrated with each other. Uh-huh. Like yes. I can tell when she's frustrated and doesn't understand and then I get frustrated. I Same. will say I did one lesson on like the Zach George app thing mm-hmm. of like leave it. And it's probably like Rosie's like best command. <laughs> <laughs> damn maybe i should have followed this because she will leave something like she's yeah. really good at it it's, willow's um, good at leave it but it's like the things where she has to like do a task like mm-hmm. it took her so long to learn hold it like hold something in her oh, mouth yeah. i don't know or if like can do that. to go cross in and out of my legs or like to heal like those things willow is just yeah. like why what's the point <laughs> I do want to teach Rosie how to, like, fetch better, like, because we just kind of, like, yell different commands at her. We're like, go get it. Or, like, Mm -hmm. bring me the hedgehog. Mm -hmm. (laughs) And she's just kind of like, where? Mm -hmm. (laughs) And then, like, sometimes – but then sometimes she, like, kind of understands it, it seems like. Yeah. I don't know. But she's not always the best or the brightest. (laughs) I do feel like – do you feel like as they get older, it's harder, too? Like maybe yeah, that is true I mean, about like teaching older dogs new tricks. If they don't have like the basis or the yeah yeah the foundation baseline, like for Willow, you, she bites my vacuum and like grabs the front of it and lifts it up and like she was breaking my vacuum and I was like, okay, we can't do this anymore. So like as soon as I got treats and I said leave it, she like cat doesn't touch it. Yeah. Like she's like, oh okay, I understand that. Yeah. But if Does it's she something that treats? she doesn't understand, yeah. Same with Finn. It's so annoying. <laughs> I was like, okay, you've gotten way too many treats today. We can't keep doing this. Yeah. yeah. Sometimes, just have to use like, Rosie's very good when there's, like, treats around. But that's when I'm like, I need you to do this without treats, too. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Well, for that canine good citizen, you're not allowed to use treats. So that was, like, so stressful. Right. You're not allowed to have them whatsoever. So It is really stressful. It passed. <laughs> I don't think I could ever go through that. It's pretty cool. I just, the more I ask something of Willow and don't reward her for it, like, the less she's going to actually listen to me. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Like, if she knows that she hasn't gotten rewarded for coming back to me a couple times, she'll be like, nah, it's not worth it. Yeah. <laughs> You're shit. <laughs> for sure. Um, we have Exciting news. You're officially an auntie. I am. <laughs> How does it feel? Tell us everything. I'm obsessed with him. Wait, should I say the intro first so then you can talk about it? Sure, yeah. yeah. <laughs> okay, welcome to another episode of So Glad We're Friends. I'm Maggie. I'm Devin. I'm Brittany. And I'm an aunt. <laughs> it's so exciting. Like, what does it it's... feel like? I'm so obsessed with him. So is my mom. Me and my mom and Logan are, like, arguing because my mom's like, I need to go see him again today. <laughs> and Logan's like, leave them alone. Like they're gonna get annoyed of you and i'm like no i want to go see him too like my mom was at the hospital with them all day yesterday oh. pretty much but is, at the is hospital again peyton Peyton is peyton really like happy that your mom is there like helping her out like, yeah everywhere? so like at the hospital they're so bored and she had like some kind of strep infection or something that i don't know you get tested for this and like 50 percent of women have it Oh, basically okay. or like some, you know it's common um so they had to stay at the hospital for 48 hours and they are mm. so bored and so having people there obviously makes it more entertaining yeah. like so that was nice because at first we were afraid that they were going to be like no we don't want anyone here mm-hmm. yeah um but yeah she's been so great how was the, the like delivery and everything like was it everything went normal yeah, she had a 10 out of 10 experience. Her oh, epidural yay. was great. She pushed for, I want to say 50 minutes, 45, minutes. That's 50 so crazy because like that seems so long, but like I think that's relatively yeah. short. <laughs> yeah, it was, she did a good job. I mean, some people push for hours. That's so yeah. crazy to me. That's yeah. so exhausting. You know, it was kind of like interesting. I just like listened to the World's First podcast. She just had her baby, but she went through like 36 rounds of IVF. <gasps> so or t- maybe it was 27 either way I it was would, a very oh very high my gosh IVF and everything and so she decided she wanted to do like a natural birth because she was like 
I have been so numb for so long with like all these medications and hormones and everything else. Mm -hmm. But like her like doula or something kind of explained how important the natural birth process is. Like the drugs and everything are great, but she was kind of saying like this, you know, part of this like helps to um, make this happen. And then like you feel more connected to your baby because of this. And then like basically this like whole cycle of things that happen. And I was like, wow, the, body is like incredible just in terms of how all of the processes work because there's one thing even with like milk like some women have trouble like getting their milk let down right away their milk huh i knew their milk (laughs) Milk. i've always said milk i can't help it um but yeah like i guess something like with the whole process it can get blocked because of just like the feelings Mm. and different things that happen. Hmm. So I don't know. Obviously modern medicine is amazing. I don't think I could do like a birth without um, an epidural, but I just thought the process was interesting of like the, the cycle of it all. The only thing that freaks me out is like not being able to move. Like that's kind of freaky. Like just not, you can't really feel anything either. You could just feel like pressure. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Which sounds nice. (laughs) Obviously when you don't want to feel it. Yeah, and she was like, since she didn't feel anything during the delivery, the neck, like after she delivered oh. and the adrenaline was going away, like she started feeling like her, your stomach is still cramping a lot. Yeah. Because it's, like it's still to like get pushing back into everything its shape. Out too. Yeah. And she tore a little bit. So she had, st- she has stitches and like she was just like in so much pain the first night. Yeah. After all the drugs started going away. Oh, and the endorphins like, and shit. I wonder what the percentage of people that tear are. That's like a very terrifying. I think very high. I know. I think yeah, because I. Yeah, but I they do so say like, if you don't get the drugs, then you people tear less because you can kind of feel more. So like yeah. you know, yeah. if you're pushing like too hard, almost. But the baby's the. I don't know. It's so crazy. It's gonna come out and be humongous either way. Yeah. Yeah. That is such a I wonder if there's like a light drug that's like I think there is. That's what I was gonna full, say. Mm-hmm. But like an not epidural not light. L I T E. If you've had a baby, <laughs> let us know. Because I'm pretty sure that there is something like that where it's like really helps the pain, but like you can still move yeah. around and like walk and if feel. you need to and feel slightly. Ugh. I don't know. So you love him yeah. so much. I just like I almost feel like I'm having like a different experience like through you and you sharing like photos and videos than like I did with my own niece. <laughs> really? <laughs> yeah. Cause I don't think we got as many like in the hospital. Like I don't think I ever got like a little yawning video. Like I died. I was like, oh my God. Like this oh. is so precious. He's such a good baby too. Like he hasn't wailed. Like when he came out, he barely cried. Uh-huh. They're like, is he is he okay? okay. Like he just kind of like fusses and they said that he is usually awake during the night, but he's not like crying. He's just like awake and like, you know, making baby noises. And Peyton was like, well, yeah, he was always awake at this time in my belly. That so is now, so crazy. Like, he's used to it. Yeah. He's like a night owl like you. Yeah. Aww. You could be like the night nurse and like hang out with him at night. <laughs> you should. I would love that. That'd be I'm so already going to be freaking driving my car so much to go see them. How far away do, do they, they live? live? Uh, they live like thirty minutes away. Oh shoot, that's a long time. It's kind of far. My mom. Oh, just oh my gosh. <laughs> he likes to lay like that on his back on their stomach. That's like, so, so cute. Funny. It's so funny. Yeah, because usually they like it's like almost like they like to like kind of bundle like this on mm-hmm. top of you. He's just like genuinely so cute, like just he right is away. So oh. cute, he's perfect. And we saw the pediatrician come in and test him, and like they have to like throw them up in the air and catch them to what? like test their reflexes. <laughs> what the? And fuck? the doctor was like, "He's gonna be, he's gonna be upset about this. He's not gonna like this. He's probably gonna yeah. cry." He did like not even make a noise the oh whole my time. God. Like, <laughs> a little angel. He is a little angel. They have to throw them. Wait, that is crazy. When did, you, when did you guys go to the hospital? Um, She delivered at 4.56 oh. 
on Sunday and we went at like 6.30 on Sunday and then we went oh. again, me and my mom went again yesterday afternoon. That's, That's so crazy. exciting. Were her parents yeah. there? Yeah, her mom's been there like the whole, she was there the whole time like when Peyton checked in until we got there. Did she stay night. in the room? Yeah. Cool. She stayed the night in the room? No, she stayed in the room while like during the birth. I think. During yeah, the delivery. Yeah. Yeah. Did your brother like see everything from above or did he like see him being delivered? Uh he was trying to look and then Peyton was like, Hold my leg. Like <laughs> he, he was like supposed to be holding her leg for her, but he was trying to he was getting distracted. He cut the cord. <laughs> so cute. Yeah. Did they have like a photographer or anything? Like photograph the birth or like I don't know if her mom took any pictures or videos yeah. during what do you guys think about that like photos of I love birth. those photos but I just don't know if I'd be like comfortable with it no I I yeah. like I would want a video mm-hmm. but from my own like iPhone I don't need a profess- professional but there is such a difference because like at yeah. my sister's labor for my youngest nephew Connor I was in the room taking pictures and videos and like they're they're it's like cool to have and I was actually just showing him the other day when I was in Arizona and he was like looking through all the pictures and he like wanted to see everything he's like why was I yawning like it's so cute how much they want to see but like like, it's wild pictures like that those are just on my phone (laughs) and like it's just full like vag out it's like pretty crazy where I feel like the professional ones are more like cinematic and like beautiful Mm -hmm. I know I do kind of like the cinematic ones yeah (laughs) I feel like I don't know. I guess it would be worth it, but you'd have to be like really comfortable with your photographer. Yeah, I think yeah, maybe I would just have like my mom or my sister or something do it. I don't know. I feel like for my first baby, I would only want Cameron in there, but I don't. Might be in the moment. I'll your be like, "Mommy, please." <laughs> your mom's like on standby, but like, definitely <laughs> just outside the room. <laughs> She definitely would be. For my sisters, like, our whole family was at the hospital the whole time, like, overnight one time. Really? Yeah. Because she, like, she went into labor at night and then, like... Yeah, it took, like, the whole night for my youngest. And we went to, like, Starbucks early and we just sat in the car in the parking lot of the hospital. Wow. That's crazy. It's so Did you cry when you first saw him? I think so. Did you, Dev? Yeah. A little bit. He's just so They're just so little and like innocent I, and precious. I know. When I used to like have watch like C sections and stuff, like I was <laughs> I had to be like very stoic and like chill, but I was like always misty eyed every time I saw the delivery. C sections like, would be freaky. Yeah, it's like pretty freaky because they're like yaking the baby out of there sometimes. <laughs> like because it's like they cut a very it's pretty small hole, like when you think about it i think it was did allison cooch have a c-section yeah she does so. she was talking about how you don't realize how close your stomach is to you oh. like for some reason when i think about a c-section i imagine like you know it's happening way down there but like <laughs> literally if you think about it it's literally right here yeah. like right in front of you <laughs> like that's, that's so crazy freaky. so did it make you want to have babies <sighs> Yeah, it like made me spiral with a crisis because I'm like, well, if I want to have a kid, like I'm so far behind and like all the steps that I need to do. And if I had a kid that would, how would I be able to do my job anymore? Like my content would completely change and I wouldn't, would I even have time to make content? And can I do this? Could I have a baby by myself? Like I just started to freak out. (laughs) That That was a lot. Yeah. Do you think you would have a baby alone? Potentially? It would be a lot harder to get myself to do that, you know? For yeah. sure. There's just so many pre-steps. Like, it's like, yeah. what, what would the first thing be first? Like, checking your fertility, fertility in general? Like, just getting a yeah. check done to see your eggs or something? I think so. Probably. But I also even think, like, I just did this Dutch test thing. And it would make sense so much. Like, if I really wanted to get pregnant right now, I think it would be, like, imp- almost impossible because my progesterone levels are so low oh. that, like – and your progesterone is, like, what 
like basically preps your uterine lining for egg implantation. That's fucking. So scary. what does that mean? Like, You'd have to take progesterone. I mean, I tech- I feel like if I went to my like doctor, that's what they would recommend. But I am working on like trying to fix it through like my stress and like mm. other supplements. Stress management is a huge part of it. That's kind of better about like not getting accidentally pregnant though. <laughs> yeah. Maybe that's why I've been so lucky. Yeah. <laughs> um, yeah. I just saw a new study that was said that if you have a baby after 31 that you like live longer. I saw that. Oh, really? Mm-hmm. Okay. So maybe that's good. Because cool, you have something to live for or something. Kids <laughs> yeah. keep you young. You don't necessarily have to freeze your eggs if you just get like yeah. insemination. Semen. Yeah. I think mm. it, oh, which I feel like that would be a lot easier yeah. on you. Yeah. But then oh, they yeah, probably then you still just do it when you're ovulating. So you'd have yeah. to like time you'd have to be like timing it and stuff, but I did forget that you could probably do it that That's way. That's true. But if you're going to I guess it is probably more expensive to like pay to get the egg and then figure out what the sex is and stuff. Yeah. I feel like that I would be nice though because I would want a girl. <laughs> I can't decide. Joe and I were talking about this. We we're like, if we had like one kid, what would we want it to be? Would you want just one? Like that's interesting with both of you having siblings. I know. I just don't, I don't know if know. I could do more than one. I think Same. I'm like, I feel like I have to think about taking care of me as like a human, and then like For dogs, sure. and then Joe. And so I feel like my capacity might only be for, like, one. Yeah, and, like, you'd give them a great life to yeah. just have one. In my crisis, I was also, like, how I can't have a kid while I have Willow because I can't take care of them both alone. Like, oh, how that's would I so be able to balance? Like, Willow I feel like requires so puppy. much of my attention. I have that's crisis like, that I yeah. need a baby before they die because then I'm like, oh, my God, like, they'll only get a few years together. Like, I think mm. about that the opposite way. Yeah. That's interesting. But, like, don't does, don't you think it would be so cute to, like, think of Willow yeah. with a baby? Yeah. Yeah. And I would does adapt. Does she do kids? Um, yeah. She's fine as long as they don't hurt her. Yeah. Kids would be doing that. <laughs> Mm-hmm. But she's not around kids much. She's around my sister's best friend's son, and she plays with him. Like, so. Rosie's like really good with kids. That's good. Just very like. That's gentle. like a breed thing, right? Yeah, she did have like a fear period though hmm. of little kids for like three or four months, and that was kind of scary. But now she's just like. I don't know. She, like, knows what to do. She knows that she needs to be calm. She knows that, like, she can't be too excited. That's good. And, yeah. I feel like mine don't really have, like, a lot of experience with little kids or babies at all. Yeah. Yeah. Well, how old? I guess her niece was, like, how old was she when she first met her? I don't remember how old she was. But, like, the last time was like at thanksgiving and she was like a little over a year and she was like really good with her but she and she was still in that like waddling like trying to figure trying to figure out like balancing and i don't think she was walking just yet she was like on the verge of walking and now she's like walking everywhere and just like causing like a ruckus and destruction like (laughs) she just like knocks things over (laughs) and she's like always on the go that's so cute I just I think love that so stage cute when they do that. Yeah. I'm so excited. And they're going to have a bunch of kids too, so like yeah. But I oh, I just like again? wanted my own. Like when I was leaving, I was like that's so exciting. Like I want yeah. mm-hmm. um Jake's 24 and Peyton's 22. So they'll have like do you think they'll have like five kids? I think they'll have four. Yeah. Mm-hmm. That'll that's be so, so cute. cute. Yeah, it'll be so fun to just be their aunt too. Mm-hmm. Yeah, like because that is also the thing is like you kind of want to give them back at the end of the day. Like once yeah. you start babysitting them and like you're alone, it's kind of a lot. You're Do you like, babysit your nephews? I used to, and I lived in Arizona. 
Now but I, I do want that on Friday. Connection. Yeah, it's like it I built want to such be that a baby's favorite though. Like I want to be the yeah. mom, you know. Mm-hmm. Yeah. But it is so like I think my oldest nephew Owen. I spent the most time with him when he was little because then my second one, I saw him be born and then I didn't see him again until he was almost two because of COVID. Oh, my God. Oh yeah. yeah. Like, so that was horrible. And Ugh, But the first one, like, I'd babysit him all the time when he was a newborn and, like, little, little. Mm-hmm. And it's, like, even though he doesn't remember those times specifically because, like, he doesn't have a memory of that, he's still, like, I still feel like we have a really close connection yeah. because of that time. Um, I It's so hard being far away. Like, yeah. I would love to see our, like, niece, like, three times a year. It's so hard. <laughs> three times a year. Being 30 minutes away. <laughs> well, I mean, like, three times a year is, like, huge. Yeah. Like, it's, it's, like, a lot of planning. Yeah. No, that is crazy. Like, that even just three times a year is a lot of planning and, like, money and travel and everything. Yeah. <laughs> and then so that sad. gets, like, even harder with, like, if my sister has a baby, mm-hmm. like, planning for that Mm -hmm. and trying to like find time to travel for them too it's just like a lot of that is really hard yeah none of our nieces and nephews have met the dogs except for owen and connor one time when i brought fiddly to arizona but like they don't have any other experience so yeah then you think about having kids and then it's like whoa they wouldn't see each other i know that's freaking. your kids and your nieces and nephews yeah but they would you would have to do like like for me every christmas was the funnest time because my cousins yeah. were here and like we would spend Aww. two weeks together that's so fun yeah. that's like the really hard part because i'm like my of like traveling like i hope my sister like wants to do more holidays like with us but she's like also talking about her like own memories and I'm like I get that but at the same time like it's so magical to like see other like see the kids on Christmas Mm -hmm. like I would love to like not go to Ohio every year Mm -hmm. but then it's also the other person's partners then they have to see their family too so then it's Mm -hmm. hard coordinating of like like this year with Cameron's family they all live in different places and then they have spouses so then we all have to coordinate like who's actually going to be in town versus who's going to other states and like where will yeah. most people be that's why i do like having like our schedule because like we kind of know like which holiday is which but yeah it depends on like who actually just my one sister if she follows it or not i think that's so smart that you guys do that yeah because then we just get like adequate time yeah i have no idea what we're doing for christmas this year I know, because you usually do Thanksgiving with your family. We were, like, switching off and on. Like, we would do Thanksgiving or Christmas. Last year, we went, like, the day after Christmas. Because I'm kind of like your sister where I'm, like, I kind of want my own day on Christmas. And I don't like leaving the dogs on Christmas even though they don't know the date. <laughs> like, <Yeah. laughs> like, thinking of them in a cage alone that on excuse, Christmas. I would fucking kill her. <laughs> I'm glad my family doesn't know him because I do literally feel like so sad, like thinking of them in a cage on Christmas morning. Yeah. (laughs) That's so sad. (laughs) It is really sad. I don't like it. But like the day after Christmas, maybe. And then still, my sister does like her own Christmas morning with her family. Even if I was in Arizona, they'd still open presents from Santa and everything alone at their house and then go to my dad's. Yeah. And then it's stressful, like we've talked about before, like, you're like, oh, it's almost 11 a.m. Like, we got to switch parents' houses and, mm-hmm. like, it's just a lot. Yeah, but yours is even, like, more complicated because you have your pa- your parents, your mom. And, and Cameron's, Cameron's parents. parents, yeah. Thank God they're not divorced. Yeah, that would be really tough. <laughs> a lot of I don't know how people do that. <laughs> Four Christmases. Have you seen the movie Four Christmases? Oh, That's yeah. one of my favorite Christmas movies. It's so good. That is one of mine, Same. too. I just, like, love Vince Vaughn. He is so funny. Is it Reese Witherspoon? Yeah. Oh, it is, isn't it? So good. Were they in another movie together? He was in one with Jennifer Aniston that maybe you're thinking of. The breakup plan. What's thing? the one where, like, the couple's retreat? Was that one was good. in that? Yes. But who's the girl? Was Reese Witherspoon in that? Or was it Kristen another girl? Bell? Yes. Kristen yes. Bell. Okay. All blondes. Right. I know. All Little blonde. blonde girls. Little blonde bitches. <laughs> That's so funny. 
the last thing I was going to say is like the last time I've been this obsessed with a baby was when Jake and Logan were babies. Oh, and yeah. then so I thought that I was like uh, obsessed with babies. But then like when friends or like family friends had babies and stuff, I was just kind of like, oh, yeah, they're cute. But yeah. I'm not obsessed with them the way that I was with Jake and Logan. And then now yeah. this baby, I'm like so obsessed with him like I was with Jake and Logan. That's so yeah. cute. So it's like a family thing, you know, like when you actually have an emotional connection to them versus not. Yeah. I think probably like if your best friends, like if Ashlyn had a baby or something, yeah. it would be different too. Maybe. Yeah. Yeah. That's what my friend was saying. She's like when she first met her friend's baby, she was like, this is like a, she was like, I didn't think I wanted kids. And now I'm like, wow, this is like a whole different experience. Yeah, and seeing your friends have a baby is, like, so weird because they turn on a different part of them. Like, they become yeah. – <laughs> like, it's just so weird to be like, I saw you do the craziest shit, <laughs> and now you're a mom. Yeah. Like, it's so weird. It is so weird, though, of, like, I really enjoy seeing my friends have babies now because it's it's giving me a way to see parents – parent differently than only watching my sister because my sister is very much a parent in her personality and she's very like strict and like Mm -hmm. not strict with her kids but like on schedules and very like clean and Mm -hmm. very organized and then like some of our friends who aren't they don't necessarily live like that it's cool to watch them parent and be like oh you're still like yourself as a parent it's just like you just have a little more responsibilities yeah yeah. It is really cool, though, to just see, like, the natural instincts of, like, mm-hmm. you know, like, because Joe's sister, I don't know, she, it's just, like, so natural for her. Like, she's such a good mom. That's and, so crazy. Yeah. And you could just, because she's, like, so, she's, like, gentle, but, like, firm with her, you know, like, mm-hmm. so she'd be like, okay, can you do this or that or whatever? Um, But then, like, you could see, like, okay, and then she, like, puts her foot down when she needs to. But even, like, how she does it, you're just, like, it's with so much, like, love. Mm-hmm. I don't was she worried about that before having a baby like did she know that she'd always be really instinctual or i think she scared? did yeah i think she did i think she wants a lot of kids if she can't but that's awesome i do get it's so scary of just like making the decision and then like that's I just know. your life after like I that's know. very hard to decide i feel like i need to go through like five years of therapy before i'm like gonna feel really ready for kids yeah yeah because like my whole life I know I, I've known I wanted to have kids but like I still don't feel like ready for you that feel like young so like it feels yeah. like literally having a teen pregnancy like I can't do like- it yeah my biggest fear though is like not even just necessarily like am I ready like financially or like life ready but like am I ready to take on the stress and mm-hmm. like emotions yeah. of a kid because there's like so many things that go into like even just not sleeping as much and mm-hmm. um you know having to like really t- I mean that's where I think too like having a partner in it like you have somebody who can help you like take on the load of it but it's also just kind of like a lot even between the two of you mm-hmm. yeah I was thinking that this morning as I was sleeping in I was like I'm really glad that I can just sleep in and my dog doesn't exactly require too much of me (laughs) like giving up like your time or like just sitting on the couch all day like I love to have days Mm -hmm. yesterday we literally slept all day and did nothing like to have to get up and have to do things Mm -hmm. I know is a lot but then you think about but then it also dogs, gives you, you purpose that. yeah like it does but i go back and forth on the whole purpose thing because i feel like i i've heard that a lot but i'm like i think there's so much purpose like by yourself too for sure but i guess it's a different yeah purpose. but it gives you an added purpose like for me it would give me like a reason to get up early a reason to be active and like i don't know yeah that's true it gives you a purpose. I'm not saying you're lacking purpose if you don't yeah, have yeah. kids. It's like an additional one. Yeah. Okay. That's fair. Um, One of Joe's friends said something weird, though, about like, it's like, well, what else are you going to do? Like, if you don't have yeah, kids. Okay, I, Harrison, <laughs> I was like, um, no, thank you. Like, that's, if I ever said that, I'm like, I'm not like ready for a kid if that's like my attitude. No, and there's yeah. like so much to do. Like there's so every much, so much. now, but like continued. Yeah. 
I think that is like another like I guess if I was thinking about all the different like life goals and things I definitely like want enough money like you know how sometimes it's like it's easier to have a goal or like something in mind for money to like have a purpose of like making more money I feel like that would be a huge thing for me to be able to like hire help Mm -hmm. yeah be able to really like help me like full time almost because Mm -hmm. I think that would be a huge thing of like making sure that I have like somebody good well do you think like it'd be helpful to have Joe like where maybe he would help you less work-wise and more just step into a parenting role you know potentially but I think that like it would probably be for like if I'm just kind of thinking like a few years ahead I think it would be nice for us to have like a third like a person to for sure step in and help versus like him assuming all the responsibility because i think that's it's a hard like dynamic even i'm sure i'm i don't know like how mom like stay-at-home moms do it because like i feel like i'd get resentful of like them not you know stepping in and helping as much for sure well the biggest thing i see too is like that when there is that situation of one parent staying home and another one working like that when the work day's over, then the responsibilities are split again, which I think a lot of people don't do. Like it still falls on the mom because yeah. they're like, oh, yeah. I worked today. But it's like, so did the mom taking care of the baby. Oh, so like it should then be split for the night yeah. times and the weekends and everything. Yeah. Versus I feel like it'd be much better for like maybe us to have somebody on like full time during the day Mm -hmm. and then both of us like split responsibility at night yeah because that is still a lot like doing the whole night and weekends yeah that is a huge thing maybe i have some for the weekend too i don't know because i feel like i just think that there's like a balance of like wanting to still do everything Mm -hmm. for sure and that's where i think the money comes in because it's like okay i could take them on vacation with me i could take them like you know to whatever i need yeah because yeah. so many people like childcare is just so expensive where it literally costs their salary or a little yeah. less and then it's like yeah what is the point really but that's what that there's somebody interesting on tiktok that was actually talking about that of like yes like it's cost of salary but that it also like if the wife or whatever like leaves work or the husband leaves work then they don't get to progress in their career. Mm-hmm. So like while yeah. it's like, you know, say it's $40,000 for childcare a year and that's like your salary, then you're like losing the three years or something. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. That is so true. And then you like stay at 40000 versus like you might be at 60 or 80 mm-hmm. if you keep working. Yeah, that's very true. That's why I think I just want to also be closer to family again and stuff of just having help. And yeah. Having- yeah family to help and be there because that's a lot yeah yeah I think I would have a lot of help that is very yeah do you think your mom would retire by the time you have kids no I don't think she wants to retire but she does want to um have more of like a remote work from like training job where she can just work from home and then she can like take help take care of grandkids and stuff That'd be nice. Yeah, like my dad watches mine every Friday. You could get that so easily with like all of her background and qualifications. Yeah. I was thinking about this. Did your mom like not have a nursing degree when she and your dad owned the tanning salons? Yeah, she she was a nurse practitioner. (laughs) Oh. While she owned those? Yes. That's so crazy. I know. That's really crazy. That's so much. Yeah. Damn. People are setting off fireworks. I'm so over this. It started last night. Why are they doing this right now? At it's 9.48 a.m. What are you doing? There's nothing. Unless they're see. gunshots. <laughs> <laughs> that is the most triggering thing. I know. I hate it. It's like 4th of July. We could make it one day. Like, sure, do fireworks. This is not an all-week thing where you could I just know. be setting off fireworks the entire week. And that always happens when it's on a weekday, especially, I feel like. Did I did yeah, I tell this story annoying. on the podcast about my condo getting shot into and I thought it was fireworks? <laughs> it's not coming to mind, so it might have been a few years ago if you did. Um, around like the Fourth of July, 
like and then there's um we lived like in a neighborhood that had a lot of like puerto rican people so they like celebrated puerto rican independence day Mm -hmm. with like a lot of fireworks and stuff and so it was like around that time and i was like on instagram live or facebook live in like my facebook community and (laughs) i was sitting next to my window i was like i had the second story condo there was like a first story that was a different condo and like a third story above us and i'm just like sitting there chatting away and then i hear what i think are fireworks and i literally said i was like that kind of sounds weird like i think it's just fireworks though it's fine and then i get off the live and it was like a gunshot that went through the apartment below us that's oh, so horrible. it didn't go through your apartment no but it went through the condo below us like okay and I was yeah sitting i next remember to the window. story okay yeah it was the most holy I'm shit like, holy fuck i cannot believe that just happened did you go talk to whose condo it was or like how did you yeah they were like out, out of town and their dog was like in a crate and i was terrified that like the dog was gonna be dead oh my god like, i was gonna That's walk in and the dog horrible. was gonna be dead but luckily because it was like a drive-by shooting like the like trajectory of the bullet was like angled what is it like where are people trying to shoot people when they do that i don't like any miss yeah they why to do. was there like i talked to like to some of the um nurses that like live in the area and like that were not surprised by it and they were like it's probably like somebody in a gang that needed to like prove themselves that's so horrible that that happened and that was like their task or something it's like fraternity hazing but like crazy. Crazy. Just yeah. like gunshots and like who knows what happened but they like did it in multiple neighborhoods like around so they were just doing drive-by shootings like i have no idea like if people got hurt or died from it but that's horrible it's insane. yeah it was just a little Stupid. Pop, pop, pop and i was like oh that sign of sounds like a firework i'll just keep on my merry way <laughs> i'd want to see that live <laughs> i don't ever want to go back to it <laughs> you're like oh what's that <laughs> very casual i deleted it from my facebook group oh gosh yeah that's funny that's yeah uh do sadie and finley have issues with fireworks um kind of they they definitely get a little scared but nothing like where they really, really, really freak out. Yeah. I think this neighborhood is better. Well, I told that to Cameron yesterday. I was like, I think last year wasn't that bad. And he was like, uh, yes, it was. We could see, like, so many. Like, they were so close that we could see multiple different people shooting them off. But All it was you our... have to have is one fucking neighbor that does it. Literally. And it ruins yeah. it. Like, I mean, for Willow anyways. Yeah. But remember, I think it was two years ago or three years ago where people lit it off like right next to our rental house and like that neighbor's shed and all his trees got fully like burnt down from these like teenagers shooting off fireworks. I don't remember that. (laughs) That was crazy. We walked out. It was like so loud, like going off all night, not on 4th of July even, I don't think. And then like the next day we came out and fully like the shed was burnt, all the trees gone. Oh my God. That's why they shouldn't be legal. It's horrible. I, they're not legal, even. That's why I don't understand. It's not legal they in our city in a lot limits. Of places. It doesn't make sense, though. Like, why? I guess the police just aren't like going around searching. <laughs> yeah, that's actually a really good point. They probably can't catch everybody. Like, they, it's just like impossible for because they sell them like outside of city limits. Mm-hmm. Like, technically, my house oh. is outside of city limits, so like you're allowed to. Here yeah. they sell them at the fucking grocery stores. So. That's why. Yeah, they sell all ours at the grocery stores too. I don't like them. I've never liked fireworks, like we watching mm. them or nothing about them. You know, it's boring. I agree. Unless you're like in Disneyland them. and they have like the music to go along, like it's a whole yeah. show. Even I, we skipped that in Disney World because <laughs> we were like, we don't want to stay that late just for some fireworks. Yeah, I just remembered that I want to know about your trip i know i, was <laughs> I just remembered i want to know about it. 
it, it um, was very fun tell us about it was the it people magical? said we couldn't hit all four parks and we did you did <laughs> yeah we did so oh my fun. god did you go on the new splash mountain no that was the queue like did not open for it and it was like oh so you like, had to wait in line yeah and it was over two hours and then they ended up even closing the standpoint by line at some point Oh, wow. But it was so pretty. Like, it looks really pretty. They added so much, like, greenery and flowers and stuff to, like, the mountain side. Yeah. It was really pretty. Cute. But it's just so weird, Britt, of thinking of, like, that that's where you went versus <laughs> Disneyland. Like, it's so yeah. – that's so crazy. Yeah. Was that your first time going to Disney World? Yeah. And I honestly so kind of your... think – I think I like Disneyland and California Adventure more. That's how I was, too. Because it's, like, all closer. It's, like, everything is spread out in so many different ways. Like, the Star Wars was in Hollywood Studios, but in Disneyland, it's in Disneyland. What did you think about Hollywood Studios? Did you do the Tower of Terror? Yes. I love Tower of Terror because I – it said Guardians now at Disneyland. So, it was fun to do Tower of Terror again because I haven't done that since, like, 2012 or something. So, that was really fun. But, like, overall, California Adventure, I don't think – or Hollywood Studios, I don't think I liked as much as California Adventure. And California Adventure yeah. has like um Avengers campus now. And I love oh, that cool. part. Like that part was so cool. Well, I feel like honestly, now it would make more sense for us to go to California. But like if we were to get do a Disney World trip, it'd probably be like with because Joe's sister lives like an hour from Orlando. Mm, yeah so we'd probably like i'd love to go with my niece oh okay. yeah no that i definitely kept thinking because the last time i went was with my nephew so like every part yeah. i'd be like oh like i wish that they were like here to experience this part or whatnot but it was yeah. so fun just having the two of us because we were able to do like we're very much on the same page of what we want to do Ugh, and that would be whatnot. so fun and it was only two of us like we were saying even going into Man- animal kingdom we did that first and just yeah. we barely walked in and we were like, we would have already stopped like three times if we were with my family because it's always yeah. just like one person wants to go get a coffee or like one person mm-hmm. needs to go to the bathroom or like whatever. <laughs> it makes everything take so long. But this was just like quick. All the mamas who have to pee like every two seconds. <laughs> yeah. Did and you the, go on that roller coaster there? The Tron one? Goes backwards? The Guardians the of the Animal Galaxy Kingdom? one? Oh, no. I didn't do that. It's like the Yeti Oh, no, I didn't even see. I mean, we definitely didn't do everything in every park because it was so fast. In Animal Kingdom, we only did, we did the safari and we did um, two other rides. I'm going to message Joe that. I don't think they were that great of rides because I can't Are there real animals in the safari? Yes, it was so so fucking cool. They were literally just all out. Like we were in a little Jeep and they're just out. Like these giraffes are just five feet away. There was rhinos crossing the road just in front of the Jeep. Like, it was so cool. Holy fuck. There's a baby elephant that was just, like, a couple (gasps) months old, and he was so tiny. It was so cute. I loved the safari. That was, like, so fun. Um, And then the Tron ride at Magic Kingdom was so cool. It's, like, you're literally, you're, like, on motorcycles, Uh and so you, like, lean forward. Like, it's a motorcycle, and you sit on it Uh like a bike, and you're leaning forward, and then there's, like, a thing on your oh, back I to push you one. down and like the roller coaster goes like like a normal roller coaster but like you're just in the position like of laying down on a bike dark in there and like lights stuff? there's lights and dark but then you also go outside of the building oh cool what's that one tron tron there's, there's like, also did you go on the et one do they still have that one i don't think they have that one i didn't see that anywhere oh, on the what? list it's like you ride a bicycle oh that would be so ride. cool no i didn't see that anywhere oh maybe it's in universal yeah that i think you're right universal. maybe it's in universal oh it is e. universal. disney i would want to do universal also because i still have never been to harry potter world and i would love to do that yeah um, the one in orlando looks way cooler than the one in burbank is it better is it bigger and stuff i, I thought they so. were the exact same Melanie really likes Universal Studios, so you can always ask her about that. Okay. Yeah, yeah, because I'd want to know the difference if like it's way bigger or better in Florida or not. I think it is because yeah. I've been to the one in California and it was kind of lame. Hmm. Galaxy roller coaster was so cool, and it's like it was very space mountainy, basically. 
Oh, okay. Um, but it plays Do they have music. Space Mountain? They still have Space Mountain there, right? Yeah, it closed during our window of our oh. Genie Plus. It was so annoying that they just closed it for the rest of the day. But the other one was so similar. It was fine. Why did they close it? They didn't say why. That's weird. I'm not sure. It was also rainy a lot, so... But that whole oh, ride's inside, so that yeah. shouldn't be a problem. Yeah. Um, also, the another cool thing, thing is they have so many other fast, exactly. like, big attraction rides. Yeah. But not really. Like, that's kind of the thing about Disneyland. There's not a lot of, like, really, like, thrilling rides. It just seems like California Adventure has, I mean, Disney World has more. I don't think so. Like, I feel like Tron and Guardians were like... Did you go on the teacups? No, Cameron is against the teacups. He gets too sick. <laughs> did you I eat the, the turkey teacups. turkey leg? He got a turkey leg, yes. We did the drinking. Do you not like um, What? Do you not like turkey legs? <laughs> oh, no, not really. Did you get beignets? Do they have those yes. there? They're not okay. Mickey-shaped. They were oh. normal squares. Um, and they were not as point? good as in Disneyland. And same with the Mickey shaped pretzel. It was hard and the cheese was hard. Ugh. And when I got Ugh. one in Disneyland, it was literally Wetzel's pretzels. Like it was so good. Yeah. Wetzel pretzel. What is that? What the fuck? The what? Yeah. We have Annie Ann's. Same oh, thing. I like Annie Ann's better. They're the same thing. Literally, our moms okay. have like both. Like they're usually mm-hmm. next to each other. Yeah. They're like right across. <laughs> One's upstairs and one's downstairs. Let me, let me watch. <laughs> what? Oh my god, that's so crazy. So you did the drinking in Epcot? Yeah, so that was so fun. It, Cameron was like not as excited for that, like to do Epcot and whatnot. And I was so excited for it, I think just because I've seen so many TikToks and videos of it. And then yeah, when we Tyler got there, yeah, yeah, when we got there, he was like, oh my god, this is actually so cool. And we just like split a drink and food at like most places. Um, but it was so fun that I did notice like they really push alcohol in all the parks besides Magic Kingdom when like Disneyland and California Adventure there's no alcohol besides like in the Olga's Cantina for Star Wars and um, like the Avengers place. Disneyland did not used to have any alcohol it was only California Adventure that did. Yeah. Interesting. But all the parks like at every stand there'd be like at least like Truly's or beer it kind of makes sense because they can like charge so much for them. Seventeen a drink, basically. Yeah, that like is crazy. To that like per drink. you go up to the carts and they have like a truly to buy. Like yeah. Disneyland would never, and that feels like a little bit more classy. Not gonna lie. No, it's true. In the Magic Kingdom, they didn't. So like in the Disneyland Magic oh, okay. Kingdom, they had no alcohol like anywhere okay. whatsoever. Um, but in Hollywood Studios, they did. Like, we got a Truly before, like, while we were in the Toy Story Land. And it's cute in the uh-huh. Toy Story Land. That was fun to see, like, because they don't have that anywhere in California. Uh-huh. It's, like, all toy-like. Um, and, like, on the signs for what's at the stands, it says grown-up drinks. <laughs> <laughs> I like that. Yeah, it's cute. This is making me want to go to I Disney know. World again. I, like, have – I don't think I've been since high school. Oh, my gosh. It's, like, fun no. as an adult. I know it was yeah, really I think fun it is school. really fun. Except I need like an Adderall the next time I go. No, really? I, that's why like two days I'm good. Like I don't want yeah. to do more than two days. No, yeah. I don't think I need a long time. Yeah. So you did two parks each day. Yeah. We did Animal Kingdom and Epcot the first day and then Hollywood Studios and Magic Kingdom the second day. And we were done. The first day we finished at like 5 p.m. <laughs> and the second day we finished yeah. at like 7 p.m. and drove back. It's kind of depressing, like, realizing how old you are. Because, like, when I was a kid, I would close down the park. Like, I would be yeah. there till midnight. And Same. then, but like, were last you not time forced I went, to? Like, or did you enjoy no, it? No. I enjoyed it. Oh. We stayed until it was dark. I think we only saw, like, the fireworks and stuff a couple times. But we also, like, loved – I think we usually spent, like, a few days in, like, Orlando. Yeah. And then we did – we also got a lot of those like Marriott deals, you know, where you like see the whatever they have to sell you. And then my parents would like negotiate like a couple extra days. So we'd have like oh. basically a four day vacation for free. And so we'd like do a bunch of stuff and like hang That's out. That's cool. Hotel. So we'd like to swim. 
Yes. So we'd do like a park and then like swim all afternoon or something. There's no hot tubs at any of our hotels. I was like, why are there, is that not a thing in Florida? Like we kept wanting to go in a hot tub and they were not at the Disney hotel either. That's weird. It's like really hot there. I guess so. I Maybe that's why. <laughs> Maybe like they do it for, because there's so many kids. Yeah. Yeah. It'd probably be gross. Yeah. I don't know. But we did stay in the Disney hotel one night, like just after the first park day. And I always thought mm-hmm. Disney hotels were like really expensive or something like because my family never stayed at Disney hotels. We never mm-hmm. did that. Yeah. But it made it so much easier because there was just yeah. buses from everything. That's really like, nice. It made it way easier. And it was only like $115 for oh, plus taxes. Amazing. It made it like 200 yeah. Plus taxes made it up to 200 Yeah, it was literally advertised oh, as 113 per night. And then it was like 200 Ugh. Oh, <laughs> my God. I <laughs> That is, like, so awful. Yeah. I really don't think they should be giving you, like, hotel prices without the taxes. And yeah. Stuff. Just like, tell us the f- – You need it. that's a mm-hmm. 75 – no, not 75 – $85 jump. Mm-hmm. I love on Airbnb now, like, you can press yes. a little button that's, like, include taxes and fees. Yeah. That yeah. is very helpful. I appreciate that, too. Yeah. Because some are, like, insane. Just yeah, like, like, double the price. Other people, yeah, some – other people like don't really jack it up too much so yeah it is nice it's hard to be like oh each airbnb is gonna be like a hundred dollars extra yeah and we also went to saint Pete on the first night and that was like so fun the beach was gorgeous it was so pretty loved it we went to this bar that was like on the rooftop Oh, it's called fun. like 11 story or something. So I assume it was on the 11 story. <laughs> but it was like really cute. We got espresso martinis. <laughs> yeah. And then we went to this. We walked to this Italian restaurant and we sat outside and it was like such good pasta. It was delicious. But I got eaten up by mosquitoes like where my oh, feet no. and all my legs, like my legs were hurting so bad the next few days. They're like better now. I hate that. Yeah. I feel like there's that bug spray that it's not supposed to smell so bad like the citronella or something it's like kinfield i think it's called Mm. but i kind of want to get it just for like walks because i feel like sometimes when you go on like our evening walks like i'll just get like a random bug bite here for sure they say you can also use like a dryer sheet or something really Mm -hmm. like if you rub a dryer sheet on you oh well, that would be nice. But the bug spray works because we got bug spray the next day and then like Oh, okay, good. Yeah. You're like being eaten alive. How is Cameron's like stuff? Was he like exhausted by the time you came or He's definitely tired, but he adjusted to like the time by then and he really liked it. Like he was like, I really like Florida and he wants to maybe go work out there more and stuff. Oh cool. Yeah. I don't I don't think we would ever move. <laughs> what is he doing when he's working? But like when he's just working. You there, think he would what's live so there? great about it? Uh he liked I don't know. He only went out like, like he twice. Out by with himself. His, yeah. Yeah, he hung out with a few people. There was like a guy that used to work in his office that now works in the Tampa office. So like he hung out mm-hmm. with him. Um and he liked the beach and stuff. He said it feels very Scottsdale, but like in Tampa. With the beach. Near yeah, with the fly. beach. So he liked the beach a lot. And that the beach is like, it's not like our beaches here. Like our beaches here yeah. are very rocky and cold. Yeah. <laughs> so it's yeah. nice to be able to like be warm. Yeah. Are like, is it headquartered in Tampa? Um, Now it is. It used to be the one here, but they switched oh. it, I assume, because of tax laws. Yeah. And making more money. <laughs> Damn. Yeah. There are other the offices in Texas. Too. Is he like, oh, I'd love to work in Florida, so... I don't get income tax. Well, we don't have income tax here either in Washington. You don't? Mm-hmm. That's cool. I didn't realize that. But that doesn't count for like me. Why? I was going to say that must make. It might so make you don't it have to lower, pay taxes but as no, an that's influencer? Not, yeah, no, that doesn't, that's not how it works. <laughs> but you don't, wouldn't have to pay income tax. income tax. It's no state also. So maybe because you still have to pay federal. So, like, when oh, I'm doing yeah, my taxes, there's just no state. It, like, just skips the state. <gasps> yeah. Yeah. That's really cool. Yeah. And then there's no sales tax in Oregon. So, like, that's why people mm-hmm. just go over to go shopping. Like, if you get a TV, it's $200. It's $200. That's so nice. That's what we did when we, like, when I bought my bag, we had it shipped to Montana since there's no oh, sales smart. tax. So, it was, like, 
I don't know how much money we saved in taxes, but probably hundreds. Yeah. Yeah. That's so smart. It sucks though. Like we'd get our Ikea stuff in Portland, but like if it gets delivered in Washington, then you do have to pay tax. Oh, yeah. Oh, that's so nice. you have to like pick up everything there. Yeah. And they wouldn't let you us ship do it that to the with store? the kitchen stuff. Sometimes it depends like what items. Like they wouldn't oh. let us with all the kitchen stuff because it was just too much. You had to get it delivered. Yeah, you would be like yeah, and- renting a car. <laughs> Literally, like, like we would need a U-Haul. U-Haul. <laughs> yeah, by that you time, might as well pay for the. Yeah, it was yeah. crazy. I remember when it got delivered. I told, I texted Cam. I was like, "It's all here." And he's like, "Can you bring it inside?" I was like, "No, <laughs> like it's like giant, <laughs> like hundred pound things." <laughs> Like it will still be You're outside. Like, that's a silly little <laughs> joke cam. <laughs> yeah, no. <laughs> so funny. Did he do all of it by himself? Yeah. Well, I mean, I moved <laughs> the little stuff, like little drawers. <laughs> <laughs> I did help a little. It's a lift of the day. I try to be more helpful in recent years. <laughs> but we will always be getting movers for sure. Oh, I know. I don't understand. Actually, though, we were silly and we didn't have movers this time. That was a nightmare. I didn't love that. Yeah, you definitely. They're definitely necessary. But I thought, I think, like, the amount of money that it costs to move from Chicago to Denver, yeah, I was like. That's a whole separate. That's very different. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah we couldn't do that moving, moving. You're going to have to when you move back here. Oh, I literally didn't even, I don't even think about that. I like about actually moving <laughs> everything. I probably want to just get rid of a bunch of stuff. Yeah. yeah. You could also do like task grab it to like have people move stuff onto the van and then you drive it. That's then, true. Because that's what we were like thinking about doing if we like needed it. But we ended up figuring it out. Yeah, we I actually, keep hearing only, horror like, stories about people moving from state to a different yes. state. Their stuff and, like, never breaking gets stuff. to them. It just like, gets it takes lost. Forever. It takes a long time. Like they have to schedule yeah. when they're actually going to drive it to you, and like you have to have like a driver. Yeah, like I see those like Mayflower trucks everywhere now. Yeah, that's the There's company like all the United influencers United. work with. Mayfair, Mayflower, I think it's called. Roadways. And roadway. Another one I see a ton of. I have not seen any ads for Mayflower. Oh. I always see those. And I see the trucks a lot. Huh. I used to see those Mayflower trucks all the time. Hmm. But also and with moving them. of like when we moved, Cameron's work gives him like a like a moving stipend if you like That's switch offices it. or whatever. It didn't cover everything, but like Yeah. I hate those little. like moving stipends though because they're like, oh, here's like five thousand dollars, and then like you only end up with like three thousand or something because they're like taxes. Time. Yeah, that's so <laughs> lame. Well, that's annoying. Okay, well you could like up it so that I don't. That sucks so much. Like when he gets he gets bonuses quarterly, and it's always like thousands less <laughs> than it actually is. <laughs> Well, that's especially lame. bonuses, they get taxed higher because they assume that, like, that's your income, like, your full income. So they're, that's like... That's stupid. That's what I used to have, like, all the time with my commission months because you would get, like... I don't I don't know how it works all the time, but... Would you not get commission more. every month? It would be, like... I'd get, like, a draw of commission. So, like, my one paycheck for the month was, like, my salary... And then the next paycheck was my salary plus commission, mm. but it was like only a fraction of my commission. And then the next month was the same. And then the third month was like a big, bigger they chunk. It like a true up, like where they would give us like the full commission for the quarter. Oh, okay. So yeah. this would be the good month. <laughs> Those would be very good months. <laughs> <laughs> That's cool. But then they don't have to be taxed quite a bit. So, yeah. Interesting. Yeah. You want anything else that's new in life before we move on to Patreon? I don't think so. Um, I'm almost at 50 classes in Pilates. That's insane, Brittany. That's wow. so good. I love it. It's so fun. That's so good. Are you so proud of yourself? You need to celebrate. I know. Tomorrow's my 50th class. 
Do they do anything? Like, do you like get to write your name on a board or something? <laughs> they do something for a hundred classes. Okay, so halfway there. I'm gonna, try to hit, I'm gonna try and hit it for when it would it be July, August, September, probably. Yeah, dang. You're probably at almost 52, Dev, right? You've been doing hella classes. I think it probably seems like a lot more than it actually has been. I don't think it's 50. Brittany goes like every single day. That's true. I go like four times a week, sometimes five. It's pretty frequently. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I guess that is pretty frequently. (laughs) (laughs) That's like every workout. (laughs) That's a lot. Yeah. It's just so good. Are you liking the yoga better than the bar classes? I think so, yeah. But there's only one yoga class that I take, and Mm -hmm. there's, at this point, two different bar classes that I take. And I just did, like, a traditional bar class, which is more, like, ballet-based, and that was so fun. Yeah. That's so cool. Do they play music? Like, ballet Uh music? No. Fun music. Play, like, fun music? Yeah. Is it the same teacher, usually? Like, where you're... No. The teacher who teaches my strength class is, like, very much, like, strength-based. Mm. And then the teacher that taught the other class that I went to, she actually used to be on Palm with my sister. Oh, she, like, has a so traditional fun. ballet background. Okay. Oh, that's cool. So, yeah. Did you ever do ballet? Yeah, I was forced to do it to be on the competition team, but I hated it. Oh. oh. Why did you hate it? It just wasn't fun. <laughs> Like slow. And it was so stressful. Like teachers were so like anal about everything, and yeah, mm-hmm. yeah. Ballet is boring to me. Except now that I'm an adult and I'm doing like ballet bar class, I'm like, oh, this is so fun. Yeah, that does that, sound fun. I think it's like one of the sneakiest hard hardest class ever. Yeah, it's really you hard. Have, like all the pulsing. Mm-hmm. Yeah, like yeah. is it similar to Pilates of like the pulsing and like yeah. smaller movements? Mm-hmm. you fatigue think, the small muscle groups i almost mm-hmm. think like in bar you have like even more fatigue because like you're doing a lot more like movements like in pilates you'll do like lunges and stuff but like in bar you're kind of doing like lunges and leg work and everything mm-hmm. and like kind of using the same muscles like your quads like and your glutes like over and over and over again mm-hmm. Yeah, so not enough people talk about bar because I think bar is such a good workout. It's so fucking hard. So for strength, yeah. you just do the same things, but with weights or like, what is the difference? They do a little bit like different moves. Mm-hmm. They in like every week, the teacher like switches up the exercises that we do. That's cool. So, yeah, I just like not having to think about anything. Yeah. I'm just like, here, this is what you're doing. Go. Yeah, I know. Me too. That's nice. Do you notice any – is your aura ring telling you stuff, like, with doing more yoga? <laughs> Wait, what, why aren't you liking your aura ring? Because it doesn't register my fucking workouts as workouts. Oh, what I've been doing – I have, like, a heart rate monitor that syncs up to my health app. And because my health and aura are connected, it syncs my workout. Mm. But I was very We're, frustrated by the same thing because it was telling yeah. me that I was a lazy fuck. And I was like, yeah. fuck you. I did two workouts today. Like, what is wrong? And I did a walk. Like, what is wrong with you? Is there mm-hmm. a button to press, like, start workout or something like that? Like, in the app? I'm not or- on the aura ring. Oh. Hmm. You can only record a walk, a run. Yeah. And that's if like it's like a cool. heart rate or, yeah, I don't. But you can, no, you can add a workout though. I know, but it doesn't, it's not picking up, like, the my know, heart rate and, like, the movement rate. and stuff. It's, like, I cool, I put in, then I did a workout just so that I know, I know but. That's crazy because I, I thought, like, the heart rate is, like, the number one thing that it can keep track of. It does. It's really funny because it shows my spike of, like, my heart rate, mm-hmm. but it's not, like, triggering it to be, like, oh, you're working out right now. Same. Sometimes mm-hmm. it'll be, like, were you stressed? And I was, like, no, I was literally battling for my life trying to hold a plank. Uh-huh. I know. Oh, that's interesting. Yeah, that would yeah. really mess up because then you, it would think that you're stressed when you're like doing the opposite. Yeah. But then it'll be like record two of your workouts from today and it's like five minutes because I was putting something away. Something, you <laughs> doing know? your hair. Like, <laughs> blow drying your hair. Like, <laughs> was this workout maybe housework? I'm like, what? What's wow. my work? I actually, it, and it makes me feel like it's like, making fun of me like oh you did housework today you worked out like no i did a fucking bar class asshole 
I know. Mm. Does it keep track well of like where you walk and stuff like miles and I think it does good for steps. That's cool. I don't know. Devin's like, no. I like really need to walk more. Like I would say my average of steps is like 5,000. I think 5,000 is good. Sometimes my average like for a week is like 3,000 to 4,000. And yeah, not for no a same. week, but like for a day. Mm-hmm. And I'm like, that is just not enough. We had 40,000 steps the first day at Disney and 30,000 the second the- day. Oh, Isn't that insane. crazy? Did your back hurt? Mostly just my legs. Yeah, I that is really tiring. I also don't love the stay active thing where like it makes if you like don't move every hour. It's like, <laughs> it's like get up, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> like I'm tired. Yeah. Stop making me do this. That's funny. I need to use my walking treadmill more while working because I do use my standing yeah. desk like a lot. Like I do stand very frequently, but whenever I'm gonna walk, I'm like, oh, I should just go on a walk because then the dogs can also have exercise. And then I don't yeah. I find it more like uh what's it called i like find more refreshing and like a good reset when i like walk outside first yeah just walking inside i'm like for sure i guess this is nice but but i guess like if i go on a 30 or 40 minute walk that's not ten thousand steps like i probably still need to do well actually my let me see because she gave me because i was like what are ways that i can like hit ten thousand steps a day because like right now i'm like it's not fun yeah, and I feel like but that makes said, such a difference. 10K steps is roughly 75 to 90 minutes. And then, like, or two 40 to 45 minute walks per day, which, like, is kind of good. Who has time to I'm do not two 45 two minute a walks a day? I don't know. I was doing it for a little. I do, like, one in the morning and then one in the evening after I'm done working. And then I feel like workouts, like, if I'm doing just an at-home workout or something where I am like stepping and jumping and then like moving my legs 24 7 it doesn't count that yeah I know that's why I'm like I'm doing like two workouts like I don't need 10,000 steps yeah but I guess it like is just helpful for your heart yeah I just saw something that was like I think it was a TikTok probably <laughs> that was, was it Catherine <laughs> Eves it, no it was a man but I don't yeah. know this man it was a stranger um he was saying that a strange man on tiktok like that uh, the lifespan of humans and animals and like every species is about the rate of our heart and like the species and animals who have faster heart rates they live shorter like mm-hmm. to like bugs and whatnot have like really really fast heart rates and then ours is kind of like <laughs> median and whatnot but it made me happy so you have a certain amount of beats and if yes. you're using too many yes no so he said that too he was like so like literally we do have a certain amount of beats per like our entire life and an average for humans and so it's like that's why it's good to work out and get our heart rates like lower and have a lower resting heart rate and stuff But I was thinking about the dogs. Like every time we go to the vet, the dogs, the vet always says like their heart rates are so good. Like they, like they're very low for right now, and especially for being like in the vet and nervous at all. Like they're always very low, and they can tell that they work out and whatnot. So I'm like, hell yeah, Yeah, you better live a long time. (laughs) I get so anxious whenever Willow is like overexerting herself like i have a hard yeah. time making her work out well it's hard in the Are heat okay? too i think yeah like it makes it more nerve-wracking that would be so hard in that area yeah. you have to go like so early in the morning mm-hmm. you should just get a little doggy treadmill yeah, yeah would she do that she like that i tried to get my dogs to walk on the little walking treadmill and they were not really about it it kind of seems like torture to me like they're stuck on this thing that's moving so they have to keep wa- stepping mm-hmm our like border got one of them and when rosie first got it she was like really nervous but then she like got her to do it and she like loved it yeah like some dogs like love it like it's so fun for them because they want to exercise yeah but i yeah it seems scary if like they can't make the decision to stop mm-hmm. yeah i don't mm-hmm. know okay well yeah. thanks so much for listening <laughs> We're going to continue talking on our Patreon about our lives and about pop culture things and movies. Because I watched um, Family Affair. I want to talk about that. Mm. That was so cute. I didn't watch it yet. You need to. It was so good. 
Um, so go check out our Patreon, patreon.com slash so glad we're friends. Make sure you're subscribed to our YouTube channel so you can watch the podcast video every week. Leave us a rate and review wherever you listen to podcasts. And we'll see you next week. Love you. Bye. 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 I have to pee. <laughs>